The gentlewoman from California, Ms. Roybo Ellard, is recognized for five Mr. minutes. Mr. Speaker, I rise to introduce the Guide Act of 2009 on behalf of millions of vulnerable individuals known as dual eligibles who are faced with critical and essential decisions on which drug plan and pharmacy will provide the medications they need to survive. Seven million Americans are duly enrolled in Medicaid due to low income levels and Medicare because of their age or disability. Almost 40 percent are cognitively impaired. These are individuals with mental retardation, mental illness, autism, and dementia. Over 75 percent have one or more functional limitations such as problems eating, bathing, dressing, and managing money. Prior to the passage of the Medicare Modernization Act, which established the Medicare Part D prescription drug program, dual eligibles received their medications by simply taking their prescriptions and their Medicaid card to a pharmacy of their choice and paying a nominal fee. With the passage of Part D, this simple process changed and dual eligibles were required to pick a plan from the new program or be automatically and randomly enrolled in one. Unfortunately, due to the life challenges faced by these cognitively impaired individuals, their attempt to navigate the array of complex prescription drug plans was overwhelming with regrettable consequences. Many mistakenly chose or were enrolled in plans that presented obstacles, including prohibitive co-pays, limited formularies, and medication exclusions. Their lack of access to prescribed medications has been linked to serious adverse events, including increased emergency room visits and hospitalizations. To eliminate these access problems, I, together with Congressman Pete Sessions of Texas, have introduced the Guidance, Understanding, and Information for Dual Eligibles Act, or the GUIDE Act. The GUIDE Act addresses this life-threatening issue by establishing a pilot program where experienced social workers and case managers will provide dual eligibles with one-on-one -on -one counseling for Medicare Part D in their community mental health centers and community nonprofit centers. This program will benefit this group of vulnerable Americans by ensuring tangible access to the medications they so badly need to live healthy and productive lives. In addition, this program will benefit all Americans by reducing the social and economic costs associated with the lack of access to essential medications. Mr. Speaker, the GUIDE Act is an important bill that will provide one of the most vulnerable groups in our society with the information, guidance, and understanding they need to successfully choose the Medicare Part D prescription drug plan that meets their health care needs for survival and a healthier and better life. On behalf of the millions of cognitively disabled and mentally ill Americans who live in all our districts, I strongly urge my colleagues to co-sponsor and support the GUIDE Act. I yield back the balance of my time.